Hello students, welcome to Solar Cells classes. In this video, I will be solving the following question from ISS 2017, paper 3. Now here we have to give an illustration for a linear systematic system. And then we have to show that under this method, a positive correlation between the units of same sample, it inflates the sampling variance of the estimator of population total. Now suppose we have a population of size capital N where this N can be written as a product of two integers small n into k where N and k these both are integers so this capital N can be written as a product of two integers N and k now now all these units of this population so let us name it as or let us give them numbers from 1 to capital N where our N is equals to NK where NK are both integers now to draw a sample of size small n to draw a sample of size small n what we have to do is first we have to select a random number between 1 to k so first we have to select a random number random number between 1 to k now suppose the random number is r so let the random number let the random number be capital r so r is the random number which is selected between 1 to k so the first unit of the sample so the first unit unit in the sample in the sample would be the unit corresponding to r and so and the next the other n minus 1 units would be as follow it would be r plus k r plus 2k so on till r plus n minus 1k so these are the remaining n minus 1 units in the sample so r r plus k r plus 2k so on till r plus n minus k these are the units that are selected by using systematic sampling system so what we are doing is we are just selecting one member and others the rem that is the remaining n minus 1 they are being selected systematically now now the estimate of population total estimate of population total that is tau cap this is equals to n into mu cap where mu cap is the estimate of population mean population mean then we would get this estimate of so the sampling variance of the estimator of population total that is variance of tau cap it is equals to n square into variance of u cap so variance of tau cap it is equals to capital n square into variance of u cap that is variance of tau cap it is equals to capital n square into variance of y bar sy where this sy is used to say the that the sampling is used using the sampling is done using systematic sampling and this y bar it is the it is the sample mean so we are writing like this because we know that in systematic sampling 
this y bar s y it is the estimator of u cap so now we the variance of y bar s y this is equals to 1 by n squared k into capital n minus small n into s square plus capital n minus small n into small n minus 1 into rho into s square so this is variance of y bar s y so we would get variance of tau cap this is equals to capital n square divided by divided by small n square into k into capital n minus small n s square so we are taking it as common so what would left in the bracket is 1 plus small n plus 1 into rho so this would imply now since capital n it is written as the product of n into k therefore we get this as capital n divided by small n capital n divided by small n into capital n minus small n into s square into 1 plus n plus 1 into rho now here we can see that the positive correlation between the units of same sample it would inflate the sampling variance of the estimator of population mean because this value it would increase with the increasing value of rho so thus we can say that thus a positive correlation a positive correlation between units in the same sample inflates the sampling variance the sampling variance of the estimator of population total of the estimator of population total